What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a vintage film look in Vegas Pro 15. Now just like I showed you in Premiere Pro, first of all we're going to be using an overlay. So dragging and drop this above your video, a download link to this will be in the description, and simply split it and delete the rest so it ends on your clip that you want to use. Currently we cannot see our clip and people tend to lower the opacity just to see the clip, that is the incorrect way. What I do is come to these three dots on your track and from there come to compositing mode and from here you can use either screen, overlay, lighten or add. Completely up to you, the one I'm going to be using is overlay. Now if I play this through, currently this is how it looks. So we've already got some sort of an old film look. Now a good thing about the overlay I'm also giving you is that it comes with crackling noises which makes it sound or look even more older. Now the next thing we're going to get into three different effects to make it look overall a lot better. So head over to your video effects and from your video effects the first thing we're going to add is black and white. So you can see right here just add on the default and we're adding this onto your actual footage, not the overlay. So this will pop up and you can see it does look black and white. Now it's completely optional, you can keep it as black and white, but the way I'm gonna be showing you is a different type of old or vintage look. So I'm simply gonna turn this down to about halfway. Now what this is doing, you can see it's given us colors, but very, very faintly. And that's how I'm going to have it. Everyone's clip is going to be different. So basically what you want to aim for is just use the blending amount and bring it down so you can just about see the colors. And the next thing we're going to do is come over to film grain and we're going to add on subtle and simply drag and drop this once again onto your footage. Now this just gives it these dots around there. So if I take this off, that's before, that's after. You can see it makes it look a lot older. Now personally for me, I don't need to change these settings, I do think they work as they are. Of course by all means, you can play around with them. So if I play this through right now, this is what we have. So we have the subtle giving us this static look, we have the overlay with these lines coming down the middle, and of course we have the black and white giving us a very flat look. Now there's one more thing we're going to be doing, and we're going to video effects, and we're going to add on sepia. So here we are. And now here you can see there are some presets. Now the one I recommend or the one that I think looks good is old photographs. You can experiment to see if it looks good with your footage and the other ones, but old photographs is what I think looks the best. I'm drag and dropping this on my footage yet again, and you'll see from the video, this is what we have. So it's a really old orange look. Now we're not gonna keep it like this because it doesn't look the best. I'm gonna be turning down the blend strength just a touch so we have this orangish tint to it still and there we go this is how i want it this is how i like it and if i play this from the beginning this is now how it looks you can see it looks like a really old video now something to point out very quickly through the effects such as the black and white the film grain and the sepia i was changing the blending strength now don't directly copy me because it might not work for your specific clip you can try it and then use that to work off, but it's completely up to you how you want it to look. Same for film grain, I didn't change anything using the subtle preset because I just think it looks good as it is. You can alter it to depending how you want it. And finally for black and white, do you want it to be completely black and white? Then just have black and white, take off the sepia, that is completely black and white. But just showing you the effects, so first of all I will take off the black and white, you can see if we just had the sepia, it will still be easy to work out the colours and it doesn't look very old. But if we add the black and white, it gives us that more of a vintage look. And then if we take off the film grain, you can see all these black dots you're seeing around the edges and of course all over. This gives us that effect. So on and off, you can see it doesn't look as old. Keeping that on really does look good. And finally sepia. So this just giving it that orange tint, which I think looks really good for an old fashioned video. And one thing, of course, we cannot forget is the overlay itself. So these are these uh, black dots. You can see uh, this line down the middle as well, like crackling effects. If I take that off, you can see the difference right there. 
So once again, play around with the settings. You don't have to directly copy mine. A link to the overlay I used will also be in the description. But that is how simple it is to create a vintage look in Vegas Pro 15.